the former USA Gymnastics team doctor appearing in court on Wednesday, admitting to using his position to abuse underage girls. Among his accusers are some of the top Olympians in that sport. And ABC's Paula Ferris joins us now with those details. Paula, good morning. Good morning to you and happy Thanksgiving to both of you. Larry Nasser will most likely spend the rest of his life in prison. In this criminal case, three of the girls that he admitted to abusing were under the age of 13. Former U.S. Women's Gymnastics team Dr. Larry Nasser appearing in a Michigan courtroom on Wednesday, pleading guilty to seven counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct involving young girls that he was treating for athletic injuries. The former doctor, who's now facing a minimum prison sentence of 25 years behind bars, whispering his plea in court. How do you plead? Guilty. Nasser admitting his actions had no medical purpose, lost his medical license back in May. I think this is important that what I've done today to help move a community forward and away from the hurting and let the healing start. Some of his accusers facing him in court, crying in the gallery, speaking out after the hearing. Today I am grateful for the army of women that has stopped a pedophile. Today we heard the truth from Larry. The disgraced doctor also facing 14 civil lawsuits involving over 100 additional accusers, mostly gymnasts. And separately, some of the sport's biggest stars publicly saying that Nasser abused them as well, including Olympic gold medalist Michaela Maroney and six-time Olympic medalist Ali Raisman. You don't want to let yourself believe, you know, I am, I am, I am a victim of, of sexual abuse. And just this week, Olympian Gabby Douglas coming forward with her own accusation against Nasser, saying, I didn't publicly share my experiences because for years we were conditioned to stay silent. Now, Larry Nasser will be sentenced on January 12th. The judge is permitting his accusers, and keep in mind there are over 100 of them, mm -hmm. to make statements at the sentencing. In fact, it's not going to end until all of them have had the opportunity to speak, even if that means extending sentencing one more day. Yeah, giving those victims a voice that Finally. they so deserve. Paula, thank you so much.